know, my feeling is when you're cooking, your love and your care that's going into this food nourishes the people that you're feeding to. I'm going to start by making the salads. The first one is a lemongrass salad. I started with one bunch of lemongrass. Lemongrass is sometimes used as an herbal tea. It's delightful. So at home, all these pieces that I'm peeling off, I cut with my scissors and leave them in a cake pan on the, on the uh, countertop until they dry out completely, and then I just store them in a jar. And I steep it. It's like, you know, it's a caffeine-free herbal tea. And lemongrass actually helps your joints. I encourage people to plant lemongrass in their pots instead of a sprig of dracaena, which is kind of a yellowy green color when it grows, and then you can eat it. And what you want to look for in a vegetable knife is you want a thinner blade. Meat knives are going to have the thicker blades. But yeah, you'll get you'll get just like a little, you know, a little starter pot of herbs is the way it comes. Can you all smell that? Should I pass the bowl? <laughs> you'll smell, you'll get to smell it when I when I feed you. Oh, here, here we can pass these around. Let's do that. So instead of pork, because I don't eat pork and this is my kitchen, I'm going to use walnuts. But what I did with these walnuts, they're just it's just walnuts I got at Costco. I got a great big bag and I dry roasted them in a 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes. Stop, nothing fancy. And then the other traditional ingredient in this is roasted cashews. And these I have found to be the best deal going from Aldi's, whole cashews. They're done with sea salt. Now because we use fish sauce in the um, dressing on this one, I don't really want extra salt. You put the salted nuts on the cloth. You just, you know, take them in one of your dish cloths or a rag and just shake them around and um, this, this just blows my mind every time. All that salt comes off the nuts onto the rag, okay? So there's our roasted cashews. A thinly sliced red onion. I try to measure. There is method to this madness, the madness of cutting the onion this way. When you sever the root is when the onion releases the sulfur dioxide, which is what makes you cry. So I usually try to cut it in parts where that root's still intact. And for this salad, we'll cut these kind of thin. That looks like about two tablespoons, huh? We just want to... Okay, so there's our, our onion. And then the rest of it is just the, um, the sauce. And so for this one, we'll start with two chilies. Is everybody okay with two chilies? This is just anchovies and water. And then we're to that just to um, give us more flavor. We're going to add a little bit of tamari. I find this is an aged product. This increases your digestive enzymes. It's great for you. It's a fermented food. The ingredients in this are water, soybeans, salt, and a little alcohol to preserve it. Okay? Okay, so I'm going to perfectly measure my two tablespoons of lemon. The only other ingredient in that is to make it a little bit sweet. And for that, I'm going to use these Florida crystals. It's just dehydrated cane. Each one is basically a good organic dehydrated cane that hasn't been processed. Because sugar is not really the enemy. It's when we take sugar and refine it so that it's just an empty calorie that it's not good for us. It, it, the way it goes into our bloodstream doesn't get properly mixed with the right levels of oxygen. It overtaxes our adrenals. And, and the long-term result of that is you end up with pancreatic problems. And um, the papaya, I've learned this from some of my people in the library, somebody in Smithville, what she told me is that it's always grated because that releases the juices, okay? So if you buy a, a whole unripened papaya like this one, you'll want to just peel it, and then you can grate it. You can use the big grate on a little stainless steel for you, and it's going to have an enzyme. All right, we'll add that. 
that to our bowl. So the fuel will after. Okay, so we've got our tomatoes. And then we have green beans. Now these are just fresh green beans that I uh, blanched in water until they turn bright green. We have the ilk that if you throw it in there uncut, you're going to retain more of the, of the nutrients of the vegetables. Okay. And as you can see, I'm a real big fan of colors. Like, look at the colors we're getting going here. It's so fun. Okay, then the, this one has a really simple sauce. It's just the anchovy sauce and a little, oh, garlic. I forgot the garlic. Heavens. <laughs> Life without the garlic is just not for us, no. is it? <laughs> Garlic, when it's raw like this in a dish, is going to have a hot flavor. Garlic, when it's cooked, the sugars get a chance to assimilate and it's going to have more of a sweet flavor. So this, believe it or not, uh, fresh garlic is going to add a little bit of heat. And when you crush your garlic cloves, it releases the oils and so you get better flavor. Uh, Dr. Wheel says it releases the antibiotic property of the garlic, so um, if that's the case, then we're doing a double good thing for ourselves. So just trim off the little tails and uh, press it with your knife like that to crush it. If you want to use a garlic press, you can. Personally, I just hate cleaning those things. And they're usually aluminum. Dressing, like I said, is just real simple. It's just... Um, just the anchovy sauce and salt. And what will happen is that the um, anchovy sauce and fish sauce are the same thing, okay? So what will happen is this, as we add this salt, it will release the natural liquid that's in the papaya. I probably didn't put two whole tablespoons in there because, oh, we're not. And then you just want to toss this. Um, I like using my hands for this kind of thing. This, like I said, this is something that it cooks really fast. So like if you were doing a stir fry, you want everything prepared first and then you go to cooking, okay? So the vegetables in this are going to be um, our carrots. I'm going to show you a really cool way to make a carrot matchstick. You take your carrots. Now these are organic carrots. I don't peel if they're organic. If they weren't organic, I probably would peel. And I, one of the studies I read about organic vegetables is they have 10 times or more the nutrients of conventionally grown vegetables. And if you do a blind taste test with a conventionally grown carrot and an organic carrot, there's absolutely no comparison how sweet and delicious they are. So, um, you know, vote for your grandkids, vote for your great grandkids, buy organic food. And uh, anyway, you cut lengthwise like this. And the, when I learned this, I learned this from uh, Evelyn Cushy, and I said, why are we cutting it on a diagonal? And she said, it's more balanced yin to yang. Okay, so now I've got it, so you know, I just kind of turn it. Can you all see how they're kind of fanned down like that? And then you just hold that stack and come through. Okay? Now I promised I would show you the, the sneaky way to do it. If, that, if that's too overwhelming, and you, it's just not your zen, and you're not having fun with it, you come back to your diagonals and just take two or three slices and just cut them like so. Okay? Or you can even put your fingers on either side of them as long as you're paying attention and angling the knife away from skin and you can come down like that. Okay? You get the same cut. So whatever, whatever feels better for your hands and your comfort level, that's what it's all about. Sides. This is a great little product they also have at Chinatown. It's a fried tofu, so it's already been fried in oil. And um, it, it, the pieces are a little too big, though, for our stir fry. So instead of a matchstick, we're going to have these little triangles. Let's see if I can get the cloth. It doesn't lend itself to freezing very well. But the way those are packaged, they keep for a good long while. So tofu is it's the way of uh, soy, it's soy cheese, basically. You, know, you separate the curds in whey, and they press the curds into these blocks. And, um, it, you know, it's, it's great high protein. Those in the garden work great in this. If you don't happen to have these, you could just use regular onions for this part. And again, we're going to just do a little oriental style uh, diagonal cut on our green onions. And I usually put the whole green I learned about was that, you know, it was the garnishing and the balancing of different uh, things paired together that made the, the uh, diet work well.
And I, I still, I, I think that there's a lot of wisdom in that way. Garlic and shallots. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's see how this garlic looks. Do you guys want to taste this? Let me pass around a little tray of the daikon so you can taste it by itself, or are you okay just tasting it in the patai? I think we could, uh, we'll do both of these here. It's just, it's such a neat flavor because it's still crunchy, but it's salty and it's just, it's the best. There's another way that you can buy tamarind. They don't have it at Chinatown, but I did find it at the Ambico Food Market at 91st and Metcalf. They have an extract, and that was in an East Indian store, and it was concentrated tamarind. Onion. Ah, that smells great. You smell the oil. I mean, that oil just has like this tremendous flavor. That smells great. Okay, we want the tofu to get some of that great flavor absorbed into it. So we'll add our tofu. And we'll go ahead and get our hot chilies in there. So that but when you add things individually like this, it just their flavors get a chance to lock in. And so you, it, when you put everything in at once, you get more of a stew flavor. And when you add things item by item, you're going to get, you'll, you'll be able to have more distinct flavors and you should be able to taste them. Okay. Eat already. Okay. So there's our daikon pickle. Look at the color. Isn't it great? And then we'll go ahead and add in our red peppers. That stainless steel wok. Actually, it's a steel wok steel that's wok. cured with oil. I cured it with peanut oil. And what I used are these fresh rice stick noodles. I poured the, the boiling bean water over them at home to soften them. They're just a little bit crunchy if you don't do that first. Blow that in there. Got to get all this flavor building in there. So here's our tamarind and shrimp. And we'll get that down into the bottom of the We'll throw in our... Smelling this. But isn't that just beautiful, the colors and the flavors? So we'll add a little bit more oil to the center of the wok. And then we'll pour the egg in there. And what I'm adding here on the top is cilantro people love it or they hate it. Cilantro is also sometimes called Chinese parsley. Cilantro is um, uh, one of those great aromatic herbs that actually removes heavy metals from your bloodstream. So Another one of my philosophies is, you know, stuff's pretty perfect in nature, quit messing with it. So I think that when we fracture our food and when we dissect it and then make a refined food for human beings to eat, that's the beginning of illness. Because we take out the naturally occurring vitamins and minerals and um, just interfere with the balance. You know, most things occur in nature just in a, in a lovely balance. Because really, truly, your, you know, your love and your intention that goes into your food is part of the recipe. That's part of the recipe that you can't write down in the book. You know?